and then you can increase the value of having brought someone in front of your uh, customers by using predictive data to figure out what that consumer will be mm -hmm. responsive to, to maintain the length of their subscription, to repeat buy over time. So I really see that as, as the center. I mean, there's many, many applications for machine learning, but for commerce, there, it's ultimately about product meets customer, and products is generally happening elsewhere, mm -hmm. there's a lot of product development uh, work happening in AI, and so right now it's about first party data, owning it, and understanding your customers uh, more effectively. And Connor, what about on the consumer side, maybe taking personalization as an example? Um, help us envision how impactful it could be for the future of shopping. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of remarkable, if you think about it today, how bad the shopping journey is in e-commerce. If you go to Amazon and you type in the word candle, you're going to get 100,000 results. Some of them are going to be in really weird sense that you would never put in your home. And it, it's, it's kind of frustrating as a consumer that you're giving up all of this data and you're telling Amazon everything about you and you're telling Facebook about you and yet you're still getting really bad results as you know, in effect. Uh, and I think that the time that consumers have to look at things and find things is minimal and, and there's a huge opportunity for that to become more serendipitous and exciting. And I think it, the thing I liken it to is, is when you're on like Abbott Kinney and you're walking past a shop that you haven't seen before and it's delightful and you're excited that, it that you found it. Now imagine if that existed in your digital, in your digital world. Yeah.